There are not many things as satisfying as seeing women just absolutely win at life. And women reaching the top of the ladder in a male-dominant field even better. Want to know about such a woman? Keep watching to learn more about the woman who has asserted unmatched dominance in sports reporting. Amanda Renner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so first things first, who is she? Well, she's the golf broadcaster for the CBS sports team. What's special about it, we hear you ask. And to that, we say it's making your name in not one, but two areas where women are generally considered misfits, journalism, and sports. The icing on the cake? That sport is golf. Amanda's maiden name was Amanda Balionis, but she took her husband's last name and became Amanda Renner. That's why, while Balionis is such a fun name, we'll have to call her Renner for the rest of the video. Born to Dana and Tony Balionis in Pennsylvania, United States, Amanda was into golf ever since she was a little girl. This may be because of her family's interest in the sport. She once described her family as golf junkies. She had easy access to a golf course because her grandfather owned one. She played golf as a kid but never really got into playing as a professional and only plays now as a hobby. What's truly inspiring about her is how she managed to combine two of her interests and turn them into a successful career. Everyone has a hard time figuring out what career to pick and we're sure Amanda did too but she did one thing right. She had her mind made up about what she was interested in. She liked sports and she had a desire for journalism. So if any of you out there think that you have to stick to just one passion and give up on all else in order to have a career. Amanda Renner would like to have a chat with you. Now, Amanda's education. So many popular personalities on TV turn out to either have a disastrous academic record or straight up be college dropouts that we expect the same from all of them. But Amanda is a well-educated lady. Amanda has taken no shortcuts and you can see from her academic choices that she was sure of the path she wanted to take. She completed her high school education at Mannheim Township High School. She first attended Kutztown University in Pennsylvania, but later when she moved to New York, she got into Hofstra to study broadcast journalism. We all know what comes next after university. Every student's rite of passage, internship. Amanda had to take internships too, and she got internships with quite influential institutions like CBS2 and ABC News. Those weren't her only internships though. To give a push to her career as a journalist, she also worked at the New York Islanders and New York Jets. Here's the takeaway from this. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Now let's talk about her impressive career. Isn't it quite normal? Normal, to look at someone making the news and being successful and with a dash of envy assume that they've always been there. So here's the lesson for today folks. It's important to remember that most people have to struggle and be insignificant before they make a name for themselves. While now she's getting praise from everywhere and being called the most influential golf reporter, it wasn't always like this. Amanda actually worked her way up to the top. Let's take a look at the timeline of her career. Her interest in sports reporting goes as far back as her university days when she was a member of the Chronicles News newspaper team and of the Association of Women in Communications at Hofstra University. She also worked for the university's very own radio station. On all these platforms, she reported on sports events. That's what true journalist potential looks like, folks. She later landed her first real job as a reporter at Lancaster Newspaper in 2008 after graduating college. Here she wrote a lot of different types of columns and articles, but that wasn't what she truly wanted to do. She kept turning down offers of reporting on current affairs because she wanted to stick to sports. She finally got a job that matched her potential at the end of 2008 at Verizon. Here she reported on high school sports events from the sidelines. She covered women's football and basketball games. While still working for Verizon, she was also approached by the Madison Square Garden or MSG network. She took the opportunity and worked as a commentator for high school volleyball events that were covered by the MSG network. 2011 was the year she stepped into golf reporting, something she really wanted to get into because of her own and her family's relationship with golf. And this wasn't just any job. This was a job with the PGA itself, for which she had to move to Florida. She reported on the events of the PGA Tour and worked for their website as well. This is the point at which her career really started to take its form. Working for the PGA is no small feat. So after she did that, in 2016, she was offered a job to work on digital content by Callaway Golf, a famous equipment manufacturer. For this, she had to move again, this time to sunny California. In California, she was quickly contacted by Turner Sports for a job that seemed very familiar to the one she did at Callaway, but somehow within a year ended up with her doing interviews with players at the Baltus Row Golf Club and the PGA Championships. Life is just unpredictable like that. Amanda's skilled interviews caught the attention of the team over at CBS, and without wasting any time, they made her a part of their news reporting team. This is where her career took off. Her unbelievable skill, both as a reporter and an interviewer, made CBS ask her to cover more tournaments. And finally, in 2018, she was made a permanent member of the CBS Golf Report. 
reporting team. Amanda's talent was not one to be limited, so CBS got her involved in the reporting of other sports as well. Most noticeably, she was appointed the social media correspondent for the 2019 Super Bowl. Still, golf remains to be our main thing because of the influence she's had on the sport and the way it's reported. So yeah, if any other sport tries to claim her, there'll be a serious fight. So what sets her apart? There are countless reporters and interviewers in the world of sports. But what makes Amanda different from many is the work she puts into the job. Sports broadcasters have a bad rep when it comes to the way they interact with players. It's often rude questions, needless prying, and probably worst of all, shallow interviews with no knowledge of the game. Fans and players love Amanda so much because of the respect she has for the sport itself and everyone involved. She's known for her deep and careful research before interviews. She herself said that even though she knows so much about golf, she still does all the research required every single time. The most important thing might be her flawless communication skills and emotional intelligence while talking to players. She doesn't treat them as tasks for her job, but instead as real human beings. This is why players always seem comfortable with her and willing to open up. Her interview with the legend Tiger Woods after the death of Kobe Bryant is probably the best example of this. And what's going on in her life? Amanda is quite vocal about mental health. She mentioned going to a therapist after suddenly gaining a lot of weight and realizing she needed help. This was mainly because of her father's death, which affected her greatly. Her parents had been in a bad accident and her father never fully recovered and passed away in 2016. The coolest thing about her is that along with being the most dominant golf reporter, Amanda Renner is a certified yoga instructor. She even had her own series of yoga during the COVID lockdown. She uses yoga to cope with mental health struggles. Amanda Renner is married to Bryn Renner, a former NFL player. They met during the broadcast of the 2019 Super Bowl and fell in love. The happy couple got married earlier this year, and as Amanda shared with her over 200,000 followers on Instagram, she 10 out of 10 recommend marrying your best friend. Now, in other news, Jessica Corda's apparel contract. Jessica Corda, the world's 14th ranked golfer, signed a multiple year contract with FootJoy. The brand makes golf apparel, hats, gloves, and as the name suggests, golf shoes. Jessica says she cares a lot about what she's wearing during the game because it affects her performance and confidence. She's glad to work with a company like FootJoy. Expect to see her dressed in FJ head to toe this season. Next, Nelly Corda's return. Nelly Corda wasn't playing since March because of a blood clot that had developed in her arm. She had to take a break to get surgery and then time to recover. Nelly has now recovered fully and will be returning to competitive golf in next week's Women's US Open. She announced this herself on Instagram. We missed her and can't wait to see her back on the course. Lastly, Michelle Wee West's plans. Michelle Wee West plans to quit competitive golf, but that's not the end of her career. Michelle has recently been involved in a lot of investments in the golf world, as well as lifestyle space. She wants to inspire girls to be entrepreneurs like herself and be more present in male-dominant spaces. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.